for those that have children involved, it's important that your children see you communicating. It's important that your children see you hugging. It's a reason why a lot of people growing up, the words I love you were, weren't on the f- forefront. Our parents, grandparents, were focused on going to work. Yep. That's what they were taught. And it's a lot easier when an argument comes up, those repeated arguments all the time, to where you just say, you know what, bump it. I'm done. And what I like to say to my kids, it's really become like a, 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 a motto. Mm-hmm. What do we learn from easy? We get nothing from easy. Anything worth having is worth fighting for. Mm-hmm. Worth working for. You, you got to put that work in. Got to. Comfort is a bad thing. Mm-hmm. We get comfortable with people. We feel like we know them now, mm-hmm. but we don't because as we get older, we change. If you are still the same person that you were five years ago, you are the problem. You are definitely the problem. You are the problem. We should all change. We, we learn daily. We learn ourselves. Mm-hmm. What we feel, how we think, it changes all the time. All the time. In order for you to grow, you have to keep learning. Absolutely. Why do we get to this stage in life, in our 30s and 40s and 50s, and think we got it all figured out? You don't. But we're not comfortable in in our jobs. We ain't making enough money. We're not happy in the relationships because we're not making ourselves happy. You don't have it all figured out because you you don't know. This is true. Now, he just said the word happy, and that just made me think about something. I got two things I want to say. Number one, your partner, your spouse, your boo-boo thing, can't make you happy. Cannot. You have to be happy for yourself. And once you're happy, once you got your thing, then you can be happy and your partner will be happy for you. If your partner is making themselves happy first. The other thing, when you are dating, courting, whatever the case may be, you do a lot of things to attract your partner. And you do a lot of things to keep said partner. Why? Do you feel when you say I do, I ain't going to do that no more. Translation. You was doing all that freaky deaky deaky and then we said I do and then he come home and he on that freaky deaky deaky and you looking at him like, I ain't doing that. And then you wonder why he got tired of that and went and saw the chick down the street that was doing the freaky deaky deaky. But he's wrong because he went and cheated. Or is he? There are mitigating factors to everything. Everything. No, cheating is not right. If that is an issue, it should have been addressed. It should have been said up front. You were doing this. Why would you stop? Now, once it's addressed and you continue to not do it or you're not even trying, like, I ain't, I'm, I'm not doing that no more. If you can't give your partner a good reason as to why what you won't do, another one will. I was told once, I want to say it was your grandmother. It was a family event. Me and him were dating. We weren't even married yet at the time. And I got up to fix his plate. Oh, I I remember this. And it it was not my grandmother. It was... uh... I know. It was a grandmother. Yes. And she said, baby, don't start nothing you ain't gonna finish. I remember that. If you ain't gonna fix his plate every time time dinner is ready or food is ready, don't you do it now. What did I do? Set that damn plate down. Realistically, I know there are going to be times I'm not going to fix this plate. I'm not going to do this every single solitary time. I just know I'm not. So, I'm going to listen to this wisdom. This wisdom who been with her, with her husband and still with her husband. 40, 50 years. <laughs> told me not to do something. I'm going to listen. And the flip side to that is you should not place any expectation on your wife. Only place the expectation on yourself. How can I get mad at somebody else because they didn't do something for me that I can do for myself? If you don't understand that, (laughs) rewind it back and listen to it again. And I'm going to speak from my perspective. As a wife, I know how many hours he's gone and what he's doing while he's gone. I know what it takes for him to do his job. And sometimes he may be gone for extended periods of time. But I know, okay, I need to know when he's on his way home. So, number one, food can be ready. Plate might not be fixed, but food is ready. But nine times out of ten, his plate is fixed. Because I I, I run my stuff a certain way. That's just me. Can't speak to nobody else. Yep, you run your house the way you run your house. (laughs) But if your spouse 
is gone out of the home for 10, 12 hours a day. There's no reason for your spouse to come home and have to do all of this other stuff. And you just gave that whole key with what she's saying. That is the part about being a help mate. mate. Don't necessarily look at another relationship and say, why is she going to work and he home? Or vice versa. Why is, why is she home and he going to work? Why ain't both of them do? Why are you in they house? That ain't your house. Get out they walls. Because you don't know what's going on in they walls. Ding, 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 ding. Mind the business that pays you. Mine pays you none. Nobody else's does. And it, 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 even with some of the, the, the celebrity stars, the ones... They, they do all the blogging and all of that. They business don't pay you a dollar. Just know when it comes to a relationship, it's more to the words, I love you. It's more to a marriage than a wedding. Technically, a wedding ceremony is 30 minutes. 30 minutes. What y'all want to do is party and celebrate and get all dressed up in front of your friends and say, ha ha bitch, I got him, or ha ha dude, I got her, or whatever it is, I got more money than you because we ate, we ate lobster tails and whatever at my wedding and you just ate chicken. That's all it's about. It's, it's, it's a some, bragging party. And some women, it's just, it's the ring. I got the ring. I got the ring. How many carrots the is the ring? Oh, you, you trying to be Beyonce? I can't even do the little dance. I was trying to be funny right then, but yeah. It's more to it. If you are not going to commit, if you are not going to give your all to the relationship, leave that person alone. Big facts. Don't play with people's feelings. It's mm -hmm. 2021. People ain't got time for you to be playing with their feelings and emotions. Nope. If you mean, if you don't mean that person no good, leave them alone. In a relationship, communicate to your partner, not to the world. Your partner should never find out how they how you feel off of reading a, a post or reading something on social media. It should always come from you. Say comment down below. Comment down below. And share. Share. My parents. My parents. Video. Video. <laughs>